We're now about 15 minutes away from launch. Coming up on a planned hold and the count, let's go back to Mike and Josh in the control center for an update. How's it going over there, guys? Hey, Tori, we have some uh, breaking news to pass on. Unfortunately, uh, as you heard during the weather briefing, there was quite a bit of discussion about upper level winds. Upper level winds are a concern because of the uh, safety of the rocket after it leaves the launch pad. You want to ensure that the rocket is not buffeted by severe winds, that there's no wind shear or anything that could uh, be a concern for the safety of the rocket. And of course, it's important, NOAA JPSS-1 payload. Uh, managers have assessed the weather, the upper level winds, and have determined that uh, between now and the predicted liftoff time, there would not be any possibility of improving that forecast. So with six minutes and 42 seconds left, uh, on the T0 count and 16 minutes and 42 seconds prior to the planned liftoff, launch director Tom Heater informed launch conductor Scott Barney. Scott, Scott Barney sorry, I was listening to something in my ear uh, that we are calling the count uh, for today. We have scrubbed for the day. Uh, they will continue to assess the situation for tomorrow, although, as you heard, upper-level winds look as if they are going to be fairly consistent for the next couple of days. Managers will uh, convene a meeting and discuss precisely when the next launch opportunity will be. However, at this time, we're setting up for a 24-hour turnaround and a uh, potential launch tomorrow at the same time, 1.47 a.m. Pacific time. We will, uh, of course, pass on more information via the web and uh, through other social means as possible as soon as we have some more concrete information. But for now, Tori, we're going to uh, send it back to you with, once again, the information that uh, we have scrubbed for today, primarily because of uh, unacceptable upper-level winds that would be harmful to the safety of the Delta II rocket and the NOAA JPSS-1 payload. So back to you, Tori. Thanks, guys. So as you just heard, the launch has been scrubbed for today. We're setting up for a potential 24-hour turnaround. Live coverage on NASA TV will begin again at 1.15 a.m. Pacific time. That concludes today's coverage. For more information about this mission, visit www.nesdis.noaa.gov or www.nasa.gov.